that moment when you see something that you know nobody's ever seen before. And you're like, wow, this is a big piece of that great puzzle out there. So I've been handed a piece of the puzzle that makes you want to go and look for more. What I love about the ocean is that we understand it so poorly. It's still a mystery. We're exploring areas that have never been explored before. We're doing new things with technology that have never been done before. It's what drove humanity for much of our existence. We talk about it being the ocean planet. Although we live on land and we look out on that, we say, what's going on underneath those waves? And I think that's what's really inspiring about the ocean and why it's so important to understand. AUVs are really opening a new window into the ocean. They're letting us uh, become permanent residents, in a way, of a place uh, which, up to today, we've really been only very occasional visitors and tourists. When you begin to replace a human with a robot, making measurements and creating digital data, you start creating enormous repositories of data. So one of the biggest problems for an environmental scientist is to break down that incredibly complex system into solvable problems that they can address in their work. Layerscape is a tool that scientists are using to visualize their data, particularly their data if it has a spatial component and possibly if it has a time component. In the past, the way we visualized data was we created a plot, we printed it on a paper, we put it on the wall, we thought about it. What Layerscape lets us do is it lets us interact with the data. Layerscape helps us tell stories. We can put a data set in it and we can play it like it's a movie and see how the organisms change. We're working with Lee on visualization of uh, geothermal data sets, both wells that have been drilled and then the temperature profiles down those wells, visualizing that. The thing that caught our attention initially was the tour capability. One of the great things about Layerscape is that you can see the Earth's surface, but you can see into the Earth as well, and you can fly down into the Earth. We needed something like that to showcase the data networking that we're building. So we saw the rollout of Layerscape, saw the tour capability, and immediately said, that's it. We've been working with Rob and others on the Microsoft research team now for a few years. They ask us questions about what should the software do? What capabilities would you like to see in it? And then bounce ideas back off to us and, and give us a chance to play with it. We're also working with Lee Allison on the Arizona Centennial and creating stories that are told in the Worldwide Telescope around the state's history. We have 150 years of earthquakes in an Excel spreadsheet. And when we brought Layerscape back into the office and showed it to our team here, three minutes later, they had loaded all of those earthquakes into Layerscape, and we were doing timeline videos. So it's been really exciting. I think there are two big changes going on in the ocean. One is a process that we call ocean acidification. The other is a warming of the ocean and a change in the circulation pattern as the world undergoes climate change. It's the complexity of the data sets, the little individual sensors, in some sense looking at the ocean in many ways through soda straws and trying to piece that together to understand how is the ocean behaving as an integrated system. Layerscape offers the opportunity to look at a whole range of variables and overlay them in space and eventually in time so you can see how these ocean landscapes change and respond to forcing in the environment. The more rapidly we can share data, the faster can be the pace of scientific understanding and of innovation. Layerscape begins to take this to a new level. We get these new tools that allow us to do things and go places we've never been before. How can you not be excited about that? Nobody goes to sea on a ship by themselves. Not only do they have a crew, there are other scientists, other technicians who bring their talents to bear on this very complicated system. Collaboration is absolutely essential. One of the things that's really great about the collaborations that I have is that scientists are giving me their data. And your data is your stuff, right? That's the stuff that your work is made of. And they're trusting me with their data. So when I get it back to them and I say, here's what I did, and their eyes light up, that for me is the biggest thrill because you know, what I'm doing matters to these guys and what they're doing matters to me.